So today, as promised, we're going to show you how to cast jewellery and a watch, and we're going to teach you a few do's and don'ts. A little diamante wedding band, a little engagement ring, and this lovely detailed ring, it's got some nice engraving on it. We're absolutely not going to try and cast that bracelet. That's going to rip the alginate when you pull that out of the bucket. So that's got to come off. I'm going to start off by putting just a little bit of um, baby oil on the hands that we're casting. This will help us to get them out. We're going to go straight in with the mixing. You know this has to happen quite quickly, so you've got to have one of these. Down to the bottom, watch is going under, pull it up a little bit, and we're going to hold that now. I've got some examples of jewellery here, things that will and won't work and why. So, first of all, we're going to have a look at uh, quite a chunky ring with a beautiful texture. That would be very tempting because it's going to have a lovely, lovely pattern on it. But we've got a problem with this because that is going to jut out so much when it's on your finger. You are going to rip the alginate when you pull that out. And if you rip the alginate, you will end up with a faulty casting like this. We've also got a problem if you've got a rough surface on your ring. So this is um, a nice crystal ring, beautiful texture. You will tear the alginate and you will not end up with any of that lovely texture. Here's another one that won't work. Looks OK until you realise that that rose gold band moves. That will move in the alginate and it will move when you pull it out and that will tear the alginate. So that's a no <laughs> as well. And this one again you've got an overhang there because it is over the edge of the finger um, that's going to tear on its way out but there's plenty you can do so anything that's smooth or flat um, is not going to cause you a problem at all the band on the thumb that's got a nice celtic pattern on it that casts really well we've got a nice textured Silver ring. You can see the nice shapes and textures on there are going to look great. This piece here, because it is flush up against the finger, there isn't really space for the alginate to get under and get torn as it comes out. So that one's going to be absolutely fine. The order that you take your hands out in is really important. I haven't got any intricate jewellery on. I'm coming out first, so wiggling my fingers. Take your time, don't rush, and don't panic. It will come out, I promise. And as it comes. There we are. And now this gives us a really good look at what's inside. And the other hand here that has got the rings on is now free to lift those fingers up away from the alginate. So tuck your fingers up, and as it comes. So I'm going to show you a little top tip here. If you hold back a little bit of the plaster from your casting kit and mix it into a paste with a bit of water, but I have seen that one of the holes from one of the rings there, I can go in and just paint in them. So what this does is it gives the other plaster that's about to go in something to hang on to. And I've gone in with a little bit of plaster. There's another one. So we won't have any air bubbles in there. 